how to upload and distribute your music with AfroTunes. Most of you have been uploading your music to YouTube, but did you know there are other ways that you can distribute your music to social media and music streaming platforms? More and more people are utilizing streaming services like Boomplay and Apple Music to listen and enjoy music every day. This is an opportunity for you as an upcoming and an independent artist to get discovered. Let me walk you through how you can easily upload and distribute your music with AfroTune. So before we proceed in today's video, go and check out our previous video on how to sign up and log in with AfroTunes. On the AfroTunes dashboard, click new release. On the new release, the first page that you're going to encounter is the release details. On this part, already depending with the subscription plan that you have subscribed to, right? For me, I am subscribed to the artist free plan. You have the option of choosing the plan that you're subscribed to, right? Move on to the next stage, which is selecting a release type. So if you're selecting an album, just leave it at default. But if you're select, if you're releasing a single, click single. Or if you're releasing a compilation album, click compilation album. For me, I'm going to demonstrate a release of a single. On the next stage, enter name, which is the name of a single, an album, an EP, or a compilation album. Make sure on this part you put in the name of the release that you are going to distribute. On the next part, you enter the label name. So if you're an independent artist and you have your own recording label, just type in the name of your recording label. But if you don't have any recording label, you can just click the default AfroTunes. On the right side of the screen, we have the stereo ID, which is the European article number. This is really important. You have to have this because it's a unique code that is carried by your release. It is used to identify your release when it comes to the distribution and the collection of royalties. EAN code, you have two options. So for example, if you are re-releasing a song that you have distributed before, it is really important that you keep the metadata or previous release and make sure that when you are entering the EAN code, you are entering the same exact number. If it's the first time you are releasing, you can use the auto-generated EAN code then continue on the original release date. Pick the date of your choice. That's all for the first page of the release details. Click save and next. Before we proceed with uploading your artwork, make sure that it adheres to the requirements stated here. The most important thing to take note of is only the release title and the artist name can be shown. So that means you don't have to show the production information on the cover artwork. And if your song contains some explicit content, make sure that on the cover artwork there is a parental advisory logo. On point number eight, no additional information, logos, URLs, production information should be displayed on the cover artwork. So there are two ways that you can upload your cover artwork. Uh, the first one is just clicking on the, on the Dropbox and select the cover artwork that you want to use. So my song is a little bit spicy, uh, meaning that it has some um, explicit content in it. All right, so you see the cover artwork, it has the name of the song, and it has the artist name Kalasu, and on the bottom left corner there is the parental advisory tag. After this is done, click save and next. On the stereo tracks tab, all you have to do is make sure that your track meets the specifications. And I recommend that you upload your song in an MP3 or a web format. Your song will have better quality after it uploads. The process of uploading is really easy. You have two options. It's either you can drag and drop your track or you can just click add tracks. All 
Once your track is uploaded, you can click play for a pre-leasing to make sure that your track is uploaded correctly and it, it hasn't lost its quality. If your track is already in the catalog, you can just click add from catalog and select a track. This is helpful when you are uploading a song which you released as a single before but now you want, to, you want the song to be part of an album. Once you are done, just click save and next. For the track details tab, you will notice that on the title it shows the release title that you enter in the release details. This is when you are uploading and distributing a single track. Just make sure that the track name is the same. If you are uploading an album, make sure that you enter the track name here. And make sure that the track name doesn't contain the name of the artist or any numbers or any special character. Make sure that you select at least two genres and at most four genres. I'm going to select Afro Beats and Afro, Afro Trap. Then for the ISRC, this is the International Standard Recording Code. So if you are re-uploading your track which has been distributed before, make sure that you use the same ISRC code that was used when you distributed the, the previous track. This is really important when it comes to the royalty payment. If you are uploading the track for the first time, you can use the auto-generated ISRC code. Then the ISWC is optional. If your song has some explicit content in it, make sure you select explicit and make sure that you cross check with your cover artwork to see that you have installed or applied the parental advisory tag. Make sure that you are selected for download and streaming. Then for the artist, select the artist or the contributor. If you have some feature artists on your track, make sure that you select and input their name. If your track is an instrumental, click yes, but in this case, my track is not an instrumental. For the language, make sure that you select the language that your song is sung in, or at least if you cannot find the exact language that your song has been recorded in. You can select the closest language. Then for the split royalty payment, you have to select the participants of the track. So the first one is the artist, Kalasu. Then on the row of the person, select artist. Then select the percentage split that they are going to get from the royalties. Then if you have multiple participants, in the case that you are not an independent artist and you are not working alone, you can add participants uh, as the producer and type in or select 50% of the royalties. Once you're done with this, just cross check that you have selected everything and you have entered all the information required. That is the language, the genres, the artist name, and the feature artist name. Click Save and Next. On the Outlet Details tab, make sure that you have the ownership to all the tracks that you are releasing. Or if you are releasing a remix, a mixtape, or a cover, make sure that you have the rights to release those songs and click agree then for the outlets choose the outlets that you want to release your music to and make sure that you, you select the correct dates on when you want your music to be released and i'm gonna go ahead and select all outlets i recommend you to select all outlets this will give you a better chance to be discovered the more your song is distributed to a lot of music outlets. Once you're done, you can choose save 
if you want to distribute it at a later date. Once you are done, click review and distribute. If you have any further questions on how to upload and distribute your music, please check our FAQ articles or just drop us an email.